what's crack -lack and literary geeks happy monday today's video is a very simple lesson in setup and payoff in the simplest way possible foreshadowing you set up something early in the book that comes into play in a much larger and more important way later setup and payoff is usually formed more in subplots but definitely can be part of your main plot and is often why when you finish a novel and there's something off about it but you can't tell what the characters were fine plotline made it to the end, but something wasn't satisfying about it. Sometimes an author will set up something in the beginning of the book, but not follow it all the way to the end, which creates a weird dissonance for the reader because they're waiting for something that isn't happening. Oppositely, you could have an ending of a novel that is bombastic and huge and has a ridiculous payoff, but feels really out of place because there wasn't enough setup in the first act. Setup includes laying down groundwork for major scenes later in the novel, laying the groundwork for secrets or reveals that will happen later in the book, and telling jokes or creating coincidences. And setup can be a lot of things. It could be secondary characters, it could be physical habits, it could be a remark that someone makes in the very first chapter. It could be places, settings, objects, certain weather. Even dialogue and prophecy can be your setup towards the payoff. Payoff can be discovering something, revealing something, the twist of the book, or some kind of joke or punchline. This is usually the coming full circle type of plot that you see and why a lot of people will feel more grounded and connected to your book than if you were to just mention something in the first chapter and it never come to fruition. And I'm going to give you two just stellar pop culture references for this of the last century. Number one being Harry Potter. Because Harry Potter is so long and there are often other series that have multiple books or multiple plot lines, sometimes between the setup and the payoff there has to be a reminder so that the audience doesn't get bored or completely forget about why that one thing is important. The setup of Harry Potter is that Harry is the only person to ever survive Lord Voldemort. Throughout the series we find out that there are horcruxes and that we can't find the last one. The reminder. Another reminder with the whole prophecy of only one can live while the other survives. And finally, the payoff being that Harry is the other Horcrux and he is the pivotal thing that will keep Lord Voldemort from life or death. The second one is a cinematic masterpiece called Mean Girls. I'm sure most of you have seen it. I have seen it upwards of 30 times. <laughs> In this scenario, the burn book is the setup and the payoff. When Katie first gets invited to Regina George's house and finds the burn book, she finds that it is full of rumors and nasty comments about girls in their class. Now this could just have been a normal book diary if not for the payoff later when Regina uses the burn book as a way to get back at Katie. When Regina pastes her own picture in there and sets up Katie as the owner of the burn book, it is her getting full circle on her revenge plot and using the burn book as a prep. I'm also gonna leave a really good video in the description below that has to do more with movie and cinematic set off and payoff but it's where I learned the majority of this stuff and I absolutely love Love the person that put this together so I hope that, that answers any other questions that you may have. Make sure to tune in on Sunday at 7 30 Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube for our live chat. I hope to see you guys all there. Have a good week!